Hello, welcome once again. Today we're going over cooling fans, Hondas and Toyotas, uh, pretty similar. Anyway, this is pretty uh, complex, so I'll try to um, shorten it and summarize as best as I can. There's a radiator fan relay for the radiator. There's an AC condenser fan relay for the, obviously the, the condenser when you turn on the air conditioning. Now, both of these... One side gets 12 volts, we know. The other side gets a ground. The ground, as you can see, is given by the PCM over here. The PCM controls the ground for this one, radiator fan relay. Also, when you come over here, another relay, another relay. That's what makes it tricky. This relay gets a ground also from this PCM, but a different ground. Then this one, fan control, for this one, gets the same ground. So, let's try to figure it out what's going on here. Okay, now, this is the main relay. And this is why I chose this, because sometimes when you have the fans not going on, you're going to go to the relay that has something to do with the radiator or the AC condenser. But guess what? If you don't have a wiring diagram, you wouldn't know that this PGM... F1 main relay is controlling the whole thing. He controls it. Without him, they both will not work. So, let's say at uh, around 212 degrees, uh, the coolant temperature, and you turn on the AC fan, current flows from here through the coil, 12 volts here now, 0 volts over here to give this a ground. After that happens, this is engaged, you have current flowing through here, out of this fuse, through a diode. This is probably a protection diode, probably for polarity purposes, if you put the battery wrong or to save the loads and the computers. And we go through another radiator fan. One, radi one fan, uh, one relay, another relay. So now there's 12 volts over here, minus this voltage drop. I'm not going to go too technical, but so 12 volts here. And as you can see, usually when we have relays, we usually have 87, 86. The popular terminals here, we have 2, 3, 4, 1. So it's a different terminals, uh, pins, numbers. We come over here. Radio fan comes on because of this one. Because of this uh, uh, ground over here. Giving this a ground. After that happens, this is engaged. We need this radio fan to be turned on. You follow the blue. Current flows here. Follow the blue. Follow the blue. And then radiator fan motor turns on. And now the radiator is on. Okay? That's one part of it. So for that part, we have one included, a relay, a main relay, and a second radio fan relay. So... so the computer gives it the ground. This one works. Now, when, like I said, when it reaches 212 degrees and you put on the air conditioner, both turn on. This is the part that's complicated. How does the condenser fan turn on? Now, we followed the blue. We said here's the blue. The blue is here. Right? One relay. The blue, 12 volts here. And now we have 12 volts to this. And zero volts. Now we're going to follow the green. The green comes here. Through this. Like I said, I have to see. That's why I have to focus a little closer. So this goes in here. Same type of relay. Pins are three and four. Two and one. Now we go over here. We have 12 volts here. Now we need a ground. The computer gives him a ground. Here's the tricky part. And here's the whole important thing of the whole video. Follow the green. This goes in here. You would think, okay, AC condenser fan. We turn on the air conditioner. Both fans will turn on. Now we come over here. We come over. Uh, uh, we come over here. We come here through the uh, through the uh, motor. Guess what? Now what happened? We don't have a ground because it relies on this to be activated. So now this point over here that gave this that gave this one a ground 
this current flowing here will come over here, come over here, all, but it also goes back to the same one that gave a ground to this one. They are sharing the same ground. This relay and this relay is sharing the same ground. So when he's activated, the radio is activated, AC, AC condenser fan is also activated. Basically, how, how has it happened? By two ECT um, uh, uh, engine coolant temperature sensors, one here and one here. One is located in the engine, one is located on by the throttle body. This is the ground for both. This determines when he gives this a ground. These are the most important things. So, one side is the ground, the other side is an input signal to him for one, and the other one is another input signal for him. They determine the temperature of the coolant. When it gets really hot, especially when you have the AC condenser on, that voltage usually starts around, we always said the computer gives it 5 volts, but it goes down based on temperature. It could go down to 1 volt, uh, anything like that. So if it gets 1 volt, 2 volts, whatever it is, it determines I have to give a ground over here for the air conditioner and also for the high fan. So therefore, that determines both of these grounds for this one and for this one they determine that when the computer gives them grounds so let me go over that again because it's tricky i don't like to be repetitive but based upon those temperature sensors so let's say this was five volts it'll go down and down as the temperature as the temperature increases this voltage across it will decrease remember if this is five volts it can't go more than five volts it has to go less so it could go four volts, three volts, two volts, whatever it is, based on temperature. Negative coefficient, but I don't want to get too technical. But anyway, here it is over here. Let's one more, to one last time. Here's the relay control. This, if he goes, if this relay goes, or this fuse go, or this a uh, diode goes, we lose everything. We lose both. So if you jump, if you jump the relay. If you jump the relay or you measure whatever 12 volts over here, you might have a, a fuse problem or you might have a connector problem or you might have a, 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 um, this diode problem. First over here, then we have follow the blue. Then we have this one. Why? Because he gave us a ground. What happens after that? Follow the path. We finish with this one. Now this is activated. Follow the blue comes over here here and now radio fan motor turns on great we need both fans to turn on if you have these type of cars you know both fans come on now follow the green again the green is here another diode here over here now we need a low we got a low so he's giving him a low a ground okay but that's still not enough follow the other green now we come to this point we're stuck this is not connected to this why because this has not been engaged. This has to be engaged. What engages it? The ground. So when he's engaged, oops, when he's engaged, this one is also engaged. Okay? As you can see, it's the same point. This point is connected to this point. So when radio fan turns on, he turns on. AC condenser fan mode also turns on. As you can see, like I said before, the whole the whole issue is the relay could be the problem or this one could be the problem. This is the PCM. He has to give this a ground. This initializes everything. It starts off the whole process. If I don't get a ground from him, I'm in trouble. Nothing is going to work. So the defective part maybe, defective part maybe, defective part maybe, defective part relay obviously we said defective part over here you can put this to ground and see if it works um anyway please go to my channel this was a pretty quick summary uh of this because i did a video of this one time just remember ect uh, um, sensors they both share the same ground if there's a problem with this ground that'll knock out the ec test uh, sensors also and you might not get a ground from the computer because he looks at these temperatures. When these temperatures go 
hot and the voltage goes down, he decides to give them a ground, which will activate both of them. So please go to my channel, Joe Trask Max for Auto. Um, I said went pretty quick through it, but like I said, um, go piece by piece. If not, leave a comment. Thanks.